Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So do you have any old family legends that you are related to a famous person? I'm sure you do because it seems to be so common in lots of families. Anyway, my family legend was that we were descended from or related to Rob Roy McGregor, the Scottish outlaw slash folk hero. Um, so early on when I was like a teenager or whatever, I just didn't really question this. I was like, oh cool, yeah. <laughs> uh, but in recent years when I've actually been doing genealogy, uh, I didn't assume it to be necessarily true. I do have McGregor ancestors and they're a bit of a dead end. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about the struggle that I've had trying to prove or disprove this um, old sort of family legend. <laughs> Um, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell because it really helps out my channel when you do and it will upload, uh, it will, and it will inform you of all of my uploads. So, how am I a McGregor? Well, my great grandmother was Ellen McGregor. She was born in 1899 in Tamworth, New South Wales, Australia. So, uh, if I'm going to do this, the best way to obviously do it is to keep tracing backwards, step by step. So, Ellen McGregor is my first McGregor. Her father, my great-great-grandfather, was Daniel Stewart McGregor. He was born in 1870 in Mortlake. Now, if you remember one of my other videos, I had trouble with his father. So, Daniel Stewart McGregor's birth certificate only lists his mother, Isabella McGregor. So, he is... A McGregor through his mother's sort of side. He didn't take his father's name, his father was listed as unknown. I believe that I may have solved that mystery. I'll link the video above. Um, <laughs> but that's a little bit off topic. So regardless, he's a McGregor through his mother. Uh, his mother was Isabella McGregor, who was actually born in Scotland. So she was born about 1847 and she emigrated to Australia with her parents and her sisters. Um, so I found the family in Scotland. Uh, so Isabella McGregor, my great 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 grandmother, along with her parents, John McGregor, and Margaret Stewart and they were living in 1851 in the 1851 Scottish census in Balquitter in um, Scotland Perthshire Perthshire in Scotland <laughs> okay so all right so the 1851 census is very important in this research for me so the family emigrated to Australia in 1852 um, and 1851 census there in Scotland. So that was my first sort of link back to the old country. <laughs> uh, so the 1851 census has John and Margaret and their daughters living with them. They also have John's elderly mother living with them, Isabella, Isabella Senior. So John McGregor is my four times great grandfather. And I know that his mother's called Isabella because she's living with them. However, I cannot find a birth record for John or very much about John other than that sort of 1851 census and then his life in Australia. However, you know, I do have a mother's name, so that's something. I don't know his father's name. That's my sort of brick wall. That's my end. Um, the interesting thing about Isabella Senior is that she was born in 1779 and according to that 1851 census she was born in Montreal, America. This sort of <laughs> threw me a little bit. I was like, what is that? Most people in those Scottish censuses back then they were all just born in Scotland. At least that's my experience. I believe that Montreal, America is referring to Montreal, Canada. This uh, time period also fits a time when the British army were in Canada. So it's entirely possible that Isabella was born over there with maybe an army kind of pa father, parents, and then they've maybe returned to Scotland. However, this is, that was just my big old assumption. I really didn't know. I obviously don't I can't trace Isabella in Canada because I don't know her maiden name. 
she may or may not have been a McGregor. I mean, she probably wasn't. That's probably her husband's name. So I have really no way of tracing her, um, which is incredibly frustrating. <laughs> but I have checked for other census records and things in Scotland because I thought, well, how many people are going to be born in America or Canada? There wouldn't be many, but I cannot find her. She is an enigma. I can't even find her death. I assume she had to have died sort of 1851 or onwards, probably not too long after that, but I could not find a death. Isabella is a mystery. And so is the identity of John's father. So the problem with looking for John's father or his birth record in general is that his name is John McGregor and he lived in Perthshire, Scotland, and his birthplace was listed as Balquitta. I looked, the best website for this kind of stuff, at least I've found, is Scotland's People. That's um, got so much, uh, just the basics, the births, the deaths, the marriages, like parish records. Um, it's so good. But problem being, do you know how many McGregors lived in Perthshire at that time? And probably always. <laughs> it seems to have been McGregor Central. Um, so what do I do from there? There's too many John McGregors. I can't tell which one's my John. I can't trace him back any further. It's just too messy. The other problem on top of all of this is that the McGregor surname was outlawed um, during the 1700s. So this is during the time when Isabella would have been married or you know, born, like this sort of era. Hmm. <laughs> you can see how I start to despair and think, I am never going to figure this out. I'm never going to know. And maybe I never will. Let's be real. So what do I do next? This one's been a bit of a journey. So I've caught you up to where I'm at with my research. Um, it's tricky because I live in Australia and obviously I don't have as much access to Scottish records as somebody over there. So I have considered um, hiring a professional in did you hear that? <laughs> Hoons. Anyway, um, I've considered hiring a professional in Scotland, uh, particularly in the Balquitter area, if I could. So that is still a possibility. The other thing that I have considered, which is probably a bit of a no-no, like generally I wouldn't suggest that people do this, but I did try to trace in the other direction trace down the tree to try to match where my tree ends and Rob Roy's tree comes down. So Rob Roy was born in 1671 in Perthshire in Scotland. So the exact right area, but like I said, there were a lot of McGregors there. Um, 1671, so that's a little early. That's about roughly a hundred years before my Isabella. From just my very basic kind of cursory online research, it looks like Rob Roy had Four sons, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. James, 1695, Ronald, 1706, Cole, who I can't find a date of birth for, and Robert, 1715. So there are um, a few years in between, so I guess it's also possible that there were other children that, I don't know, didn't survive or weren't written about. So the tricky bit here is there, there are a lot of online sort of trees um, for these families. I had a little naughty look. However, there is so much danger in looking at online trees or at least, you know, getting anything from them because you don't know who's made it. You don't know what the, all of their sources are. You don't know anything really. They could just be people just like me whose family have just told them some legend and they've just believed it. So I can't really use online trees. Scotland's people, I struggled looking, like trying to trace these lines. They're a bit rough, I don't know. And also as far as I can tell, the history books just don't really go too much into um, Rob Roy's descendants. Cause I suppose that's not really the point of interest. People are interested in his life, not sort of his grandchildren and onwards. So you can probably see how I'm now just tying myself into knots. <laughs> this video is really just me venting about this problem and how I feel as though I am never going to solve it. 
So, I am completely open to suggestions. Please, please, please let me know what you think I should do. Do you know much about Rob Roy's um, family, his descendants? Do you know how else, um, what other maybe records in Scotland I should look at or books or anything like that? Um, I don't know, like I said, if this family legend has any truth to it. I do suspect that, you know, all McGregor's in Perth, she could be loosely related, so there's a chance that I am related to him. But how close or distant that relationship is, I have no clue. Like I said, it is pretty naughty to trace down a tree, like, there's a lot of risk there. <laughs> um, especially when you're trying to sort of prove something, you can end up proving it by accident, not, I mean, you know, taking sort of sources that aren't quite right and just making them fit. You don't want to do that. Um, however, I'm kind of stuck because John McGregor, damn, there's just too many. So as far as I can tell, my John McGregor was born around 1808 in Balquitta. He died in Mortlake in Victoria, Australia. Um, but like I said, too many John McGregors around that time period in that area. What do I do? Any Scottish experts out there? Please help. <laughs> All right, that is it for this video. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions on what I should do. Also, please let me know if you also have a family legend just like this one. Have you um, heard that you're descended from somebody famous and did it turn out to be true or not? Like, did you figure it out? I do know that there are a lot of people who claim to be related to a lot of people. It seems like everyone who has the name McGregor in their tree thinks they're related to Rob Roy. That seems pretty common. Um, just like some other names, I've heard the same sort of thing. So please let me know if you have a similar issue and yeah, did you make that link? Um, okay, that is it. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye! Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to see, I'm feeling a bit distracted. So um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about my McGregor ancestors and what to do in a situation, oh, I don't know what I'm saying.